Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this little hat for babies from zero to six months. Now you can make it for boys and girls. In the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little hat using Premier Bloom Chunky Yarn. So it's a girly hat, but you can make it for boys, just use another yarn. Now continue watching and I'm also going to tell you exactly how you can make this little hat bigger up to 24 months. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, so to make your little hat slightly bigger for a baby between 6 and 12 months, what you need to do is you need to cast on a total of 60 stitches using 4 millimeter knitting needles. Now, you're going to knit 5 rows of knit 1, purl 1 for the brim and then you're going to continue and knit each one of the stitches for about 22 rows. Then you're going to start to reduce. You're going to place your stitch markers every 12th stitch and you're going to have five reductions for every row one two three four five and you're going to continue until you have a couple of stitches here left at the at the top and then you're going to close your hat now that's for six to twelve months if you want to make it for 12 to 24 months what you need to do is same thing you're going to cast on 60 stitches but you're going to use 4.5 millimeter kneading needles. And same thing, you're going to work five rows of knit one per one and then continue for 22 rows uh, for this part here and then start to reduce in the same way. So really the only difference between the six to 12 months and the 12 to 24 months is the uh, size of the needles. So for six to 12 months, you're going to use four millimeter kneading needles, cast on 60 for 12 to 24 months, you're going to use 4.5 millimeter kneading needles, cast on 60 stitches and then work five rows of knit one per one and then work 22 rows and then start to reduce. Okay, so that's all you would need to do to make your hat bigger. Now, the instructions you're going to follow in the same way here, the only difference is the number of stitches that you cast on and the number of rows that you're going to do here. The reductions is, it's about the same because we reduce every 12th stitch. Now this one only has four reductions, whereas the two sizes that I just mentioned have five. That would be the only difference. So if you have any questions and you, or you need any more clarifications, just comment below and let me know and I'll try to help you out. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these size seven or 4.5 millimeter circular knitting needles. These are 40 inch. Now we're going to make this hat in the round using the magic loop. And the yarn that I'm going to use today is called Premier Bloom Chunky. This is a self striping floral print yarn. Uh, now this is a bulky number five yarn and the color on this I believe is hydrangea. Let me see if it has a name. Nope, it's Dahlia. So we'll see what design we get out of this yarn. Okay, so to begin, I have 48 stitches here that I have cast on. You can use any method to cast on your stitches. I'll leave a link down here in the information box on how you can cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. It's at the beginning of a video that I did of a baby hat, so let's begin. Like I said, I have 48 stitches, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide our stitches. So I like to do this so I'm just going to divide them like this. You don't have to be precise. I'm just going to eyeball it here and I'm going to pull my wire like this and then push my stitches to the front of the needles. Now, always, always make sure that your yarn is on top of this needle here in the back. Now we're going to push this needle and we're going to pull this one. Make sure that you leave a loop here. That's why it's called the magic loop technique because we're going to work this in the round and we're always going to have a loop there so that we're able to work this hat in the round using uh, these longer needles. Now you can also use double pointed needles to work this part here in the round. Okay, so here to begin, we're going to join to the first stitch. So just knit the first stitch. Now for the brim, I'm going to knit one and then purl the next. So purl the next, knit the next, and then purl. That's all I'm going to do for this first row. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. 
So I'm just going to fast forward to the last stitch here on this needle, this one, so that I can show you how you're going to transition to the other needle. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Okay, I'm at the end. Now this last stitch on this needle, I'm going to purl. So remember what your last stitch is. Depending on how you divided your stitches, your stitch may be a knit. So the important thing is just remember what this stitch is because you're going to continue with the next stitch once we switch here. So let go of your needle, turn this like this, push your needle, and remember that this yarn is always always on top of this needle here in the back so now pull the needle from the back and then continue now this stitch here was a purl for me so now i'm going to knit the next stitch and then purl knit and purl this is all i'm going to do to the end of this first row so continue and i'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end. My last stitch has to be a purl. That's why we have an even number of stitches here. So that way your last stitch is a purl because we started with a knit. Now we're going to let go of this needle, turn this like this, push your cable. And now pull the one, the needle from the back and we're going to start the second row. Now, if you like, you can put a stitch marker here and pull this stitch here so that this closes. Now, for the second row, we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to start with the knit stitch and then a purl. The purl stitch, you insert your needle through the back and purl like this. So knit, purl. Now, we're going to do this for about five rows. If you want to make your brim bigger or wider, you can. Um, I'm just going to do five rows and we'll see how that looks. This is going to be a baby hat, so not. I don't want the brim to be too wide. So continue like this, like I said, for about four or five rows. Just continue watching and you'll see exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of five rows. It's measuring, let's see, it's about, it's about three centimeters, which is about 1.25 inches. If you want to make it wider, you can just make more rows. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I did a total of five rows. Now, from here on, we're just going to knit every one of these stitches. I'm going to make this hat nice and easy. So we're just going to knit each one of these stitches all the way to the end. So knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch through the center, knit, knit through the center, knit, and I'm going to do this all the way to the end. Now, this part here is easy. All you're going to do is knit each one of the stitches all the way to the last stitch. So continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. We're going to start counting rows. So we did five rows for the brim, and I'm going to put this stitch marker here to mark the first row to this um, pattern. So the pattern is just knit each one of the stitches. So there it is. Now, from here on, this is all we're going to do. We're going to knit each one of the stitches all around like this. I've been told that this yarn is best worked in the round using the knit stitch so we'll see what pattern we get once we get a little bit further so all you're going to do is just knit each one of the stitches in the same way that we just did the last row 
Now, from here on, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do before we start to reduce. So continue watching and you'll see exactly how many rows I'm going to do. That's why I put the stitch marker here to mark the first row and then I'll be able to tell you exactly how many rows. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of 20 rows. So from here up to the last row that I did, it's 20 rows plus the five rows that we did here for the brim. And it's measuring from the last row down to the bottom of the brim. It's about 11 centimeters, which is almost four and a half inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start shaping the crown. So here I have placed my stitch markers every 12th stitch. So from here, this is the first stitch up to the stitch here where I have the stitch marker right there. This is 12 stitches, then 12, 12, and then 12. So you should have three stitch markers. I've only added three because here at the end, I'm not going to put one. I'm just going to remember that before I begin the next row, I'm going to reduce here these last two stitches. So let's start these next rows. So pull your needle and we're going to knit 10. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the two stitches before the stitch marker, we're always going to knit two together. So insert the needle like this and then knit two together. Now pass your stitch marker and then knit 10 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now knit the next two together Pass your stitch marker to this side and then turn and then push your wire and then pull the needle from the back. And then we're going to repeat the same thing. You're going to knit 10 and then reduce the two stitches here before the stitch marker and then finish with the same thing. I will meet you at the end of this first row reduction right about here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row reduction. These are my last two stitches. I've already knit 10. So same thing, we're going to knit two together. Here at the end, I don't have a stitch marker. You're just going to have to remember that at the end of the row, you're going to knit two together. Now I'm going to put a stitch marker here so that I know that, that this is the beginning of my row of reductions. So you can do the same. It's up to you. Now what we're going to do for the second row is the same thing. We're going to knit up to these last two stitches before the stitch marker and I forgot to tell you that for this first row, you should have 44 stitches because we reduced four. Now, let's see, I think we're going to knit nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, we have two stitches before the stitch marker, knit two together, and then again, pass your stitch marker and then knit nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then knit two together. And this is all we're going to do from here on. Turn, drop your needle and turn. Now pull this needle, add a stitch marker, 
mine just fell so I'm just going to add one here now you're just going to continue and repeat the same thing you're going to knit up to the last two stitches and then knit two together I'm going to do this until I have, I don't know, maybe two or three stitches left on each one of these sections to show you how we're going to close the hat. Okay, I have a total of eight stitches, two, four, six, eight. Now I'm going to take off my stitch markers because what we're going to do here is we're going to close the top of the hat. We're not going to do anything else with these needles or stitch markers. So what we're going to do here is I've cut my yarn. So just pass your yarn through this needle and we're going to weave it uh, here uh, beginning into this first stitch this is my last stitch so just insert your needle like this and through the next one on the next one and then we're going to remove our needle, but make sure that you hold these four stitches here. Make sure you don't lose them. So pull your needle and insert, insert this needle through this one, through the next one, and the next one, and the last one. Perfect. Now, just pull this like this. And this should automatically close here. Perfect. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to insert this yarn through the middle there. We're going to weave our ends. You can do this after i'm going to do it afterwards but you're just going to weave it here all around so that it's nice and secure just want to show you what it looks like from the top there it is that's what it looks like from the top so here's the finished hat this is what it looks like now i've already hid my ends and there it is now i'm going to try this little hat on my little dolls that i have i have a baby doll her head circumference is about 13 inches which is about 33 centimeters and i'd say that would be for a newborn so let's see how it fits on her okay, so this is my baby doll now let's try it on so you can see it's long but if you fold it up a little it still fits if it's nice you're just gonna have to fold it and it doesn't look too bad so you can put this on say a newborn baby with a head circumference about of about 13 inch now let's try it on my other baby doll now her head circumference is about 15 inches or 38 centimeters which is um, for a baby between three and six months so Let's try it on her. Now, I think it fits perfect on her. Um, that's what it looks like. If you think it's a tad bit too long, then maybe do one row less or two and then start to reduce. But I think that this little hat is perfect for babies from zero to six months. So there it is. I, I love the way that this little hat turned out and it's so easy to make. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. I'm going to try to do the uh, same little hat but in a bigger size so that I can show you and perhaps maybe I'll do it um, you know, in rows rather than using circular needles. So that way people that don't know how to use circular needles or maybe they don't have them or don't know how to use the magic loop um, can also make it. The only thing with uh, working the little hat in rows is that we're going to have to sew a seam. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.